Welcome to the BIF Talks of this 35th Braunschweig International Film Festival. My name is Clara Hense and I have the great pleasure and privilege to be holding those BIF Talks with directors, actors and other guests of this festival. We will have a closer look at the films that we will be showing here at this festival and at the people behind them. Today with me are Kavi Mugiri and Yasmin Tabatabai with Mitra. Welcome. Hello. Um, Mitra, that's a name actually, but it's not only about the person behind the name. What is it about this film? Is it political maybe? Uh, it's basically a story about uh, uh, a mother uh, and her sense of grief and uh, vengeance about uh, losing her daughter uh, at a young age. And um, when she thinks she has found the woman who betrayed her, she wants to find out if it is her and uh, is plotting her revenge. Revenge, as you said it. Um, and how were you feeling during the, sh the shooting of this process? Like, uh, the film takes place in a long space of time. We are seeing a very young Harley, which is your character, and then an elderly woman uh, trying to remember better the moments when her daughter was betrayed by someone else. Can you have? Can we have a closer insight in the shooting process? Well, a role like this is what we live for, we actresses. You know, it's just like a dream. Because you have a whole variety of emotions that you can show. And it's about real, universal feelings. But it's about love, it's about loss, it's about revenge. And how it doesn't make sense to have revenge. And it's also a very emotional movie for me because it takes place in Iran. This is the country where I was born and that I lost. And we all lost. And it's kind of like uh, healing our wounds through working on this. Great. I was wondering how you dealt with the multilingualism at the set because the film is also in Dutch, parts are in German, parts are in Persian. How, how was that? That was quite a fascinating uh, process because uh, we indeed uh, have a cast, uh, Iranian cast. The film is Farsi spoken uh, predominantly and we had an international crew, Dutch, German, Danish. So um, yeah, on, on set you would hear all these languages. I think I often would talk uh, Farsi <laughs> to the actors and then translate it in English <laughs> for, the, for the cast and crew. And at some moment I think um, the cast also understood some um, some things in Farsi and uh, it was very dynamic and it was actually quite lovely to work in a uh, yeah, very multilingual set. Yeah. And then it's also fascinating to see that all these actors from all over the world come together and what they, what they have in common is the language Farsi. Yeah. And that is something that is really great um, because it opens up a whole new world for me. I consider myself a German speaking actress and this was the first time that I was able to work in Farsi and a little bit of Dutch. <laughs> and it, it was fantastic because it opens up a whole new world inside yourself and it's, it's just great. I think for both of us it was the first time uh, working on a Farsi uh, spoken yeah. film. And uh, I speak it fluently but uh, I can't read and write so I wrote the script in English and then tra translated it with someone who can actually you know, <laughs> write Farsi into Farsi. And on set, I had the English uh, English scripts, and you know, so it was quite often like <laughs> you know working in Farsi, but then having an English uh, script myself to uh, to refer back to. But um, it was such a great experience, and uh, yeah. And mostly, it's it's universal feelings. Everybody experiences loss. Everybody experiences grief and hope, and so you know, in the end, we're all the same. So it it was quite touching for me, I, I, I never worked on a movie where actually I experienced parts of the team, not the actors, the team crying, really crying after scenes that we shot. The, like the cameraman, the, the DOP or, or the director, you know, they were like so touched by it, although they don't speak the language or something, and they were so taken by the heavy emotions in this movie, I've never experienced that. That was really special for me. And I was actually wondering how you dealt with the emotions on set when recreating scenes of violence, of injustice, which are obviously wrong, and everybody knows this, and um, 
for you too. It's also part of your personal history, your personal biography. As uh, Jasmine said, there were quite a few scenes where uh, we were all emotional, really, you know. It was just like uh, once the cut came, <laughs> I sometimes <laughs> would just walk off and our cameraman <laughs> would go and hug Jasmine. And, um, yeah, everyone could feel the, feel the emotions and, uh, and the tension. It was um, such a... I was so grateful to be able to experience this, you know, to be able to see these very, very personal moments and very, very personal shared memories really because some of them are things that I experienced firsthand but uh, they are still uh, belong to my memories and uh, to see them then portrayed with such intensity with such beauty and uh, to have those moments shared through the performers through the actors and uh, to have the whole team really feel it experience it share in it grasp it um, that I was just very grateful that we could uh, create this uh, yeah. on set. You know, these emotions, these strong emotions, they're there, present with every human being. Because everybody knows them. But we mostly put them away and we suppress them. And it's this one thing that I love so much about my profession, about acting, is the possibility to let it out in an environment where it is, like, safe. And I'm not alone. And, and, and it's useful because I give life to a character. And I can live through all these emotions. I can let them out and experience them because I truly believe it's therapeutic, cathartic, and it is healing. I, I truly believe that. This is the one thing that I love about acting most. And we in Germany know you, Yasmin Terbatabai, from many German films, obviously. But now we get to know you, Gabriel Modiri, via this film Mitra. How do you guys get to know each other? How was this part of the story? That was a yeah. Um, it was a very hard hard cast to find uh, the right actress for this part because, of course, she carries the film uh, very much. As she's literally in uh, every single scene of the film. And uh, I wanted an actress to play both the young Halle as the uh, older Halle. And um, I was looking for a very specific character like who would portray her strength uh, and, and, and her power, but also all, all her complexities. And I knew of Jasmine, and uh, through our uh, Dutch producer, uh, Roshan Akbehesnejad. German producer. German producer, yeah. sorry, yeah. Um, and she introduced uh, Jasmine and uh, I came to Berlin and we met one afternoon and um, basically just talked for... Uh, for basically just drank also. Oh, well, it started with talking <laughs> and then the drinking yeah. came after. So we skipped the whole casting <laughs> yeah. thing and auditioning thing and we just got to know each other. And yeah. it was great. And at the end of that evening, I said, fun. if you want me, I'll play it. I'll give everything that I have. and. I basically said, more than anything yeah. trust um, once I see in the person all the layers that I'm looking for in the in the actress in, in the performance and uh, basically just through our encounter and through meeting Jasmine as a person I saw all those layers and I knew that's what I want and I can work with and we can create this this character together and that was it which you will never be able to see in a traditional casting because no. <laughs> some, there's so much pressure and there's so much so this is actually a very smart way to cast, um, it's get to know the people, talk to them for a couple of hours and you'll know more than yeah. you know after 15 minutes of performing in a, in a casting. That's what I believe. <laughs> Mitra is nominated for the uh, Volkswagen Financial Services Award and also for the Audience Award, the Heinrich. And you've had a Q&A already. How has that been? How were reactions? Did you like it? <laughs> nice. I think we had very good reactions just now. We came uh, out of the screening, the reactions were very, very positive. The yeah. people were very engaged with the film and I was very happy also to see that people were very, um, you know, knowledgeable about uh, many things about also the political backgrounds uh, that go behind the film and also were very engaged with the emotional layers of the film. So, um, yeah, it was, it was great to present it in front of an audience. It was great to do it together with uh, Jasmine and to be here for the Q&A together. And final question, obviously, is um, this is your second long film. What about new projects? Now that you guys know each other, are you doing anything more? Is there anything coming up? Well, I keep telling him. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I think we'll definitely work again together in the in future. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. As a, from my part, definitely. And 
yeah, it was an absolute joy. So uh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So we are really looking forward to be showing Mitra again and again, and then we'll see on Saturday at the prize ceremony who will be winning. Thank you so much. Enjoy your stay and have a nice time here at Braunschweig International Film Festival. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Sure.